over the past few years, we've been invited to Palm Springs to test sport utility vehicles. We've been invited to Atlanta, Georgia to test sport utility vehicles. What's the point of testing a sport utility vehicle in a place where you can get one of those stupid cocktails with the umbrella sticking out of it? Now, if you're going to test one, you test one here at Toronto Motorsports Park in the dead of winter. After all, isn't that what a sport utility vehicle is supposed to do? Well, first of all, it's necessary to define the sport utility vehicle. A Willys Overland is a sport utility vehicle. A Toyota Land Cruiser is a sport utility vehicle. A Land Rover could be a sport utility vehicle. The rest of them, well, they're just pale comparisons. Problem is, nobody told that to Porsche. Even in these sad conditions, it gathers up way more speed than you really have use for. Second of all, it had to do well in all sorts of conditions. How about a snowstorm at about 20 degrees below zero? Porsche has no problem with this whatsoever. You can actually get five people into this car and there's room in the back for a, a modicum of luggage. But when you start to add in features like variable ride height, self-controlled, the famous Porsche PSM system, great huge ABS brakes, you've got yourself a sport utility vehicle, which really redefines the sport utility vehicle market. And when the Japanese and even some of the other Germans, and of course the stodgy British, continue to try to sort out what a sport utility vehicle is, Porsche drives away from them. The thing you've got to ask yourself is, do you need a sport utility vehicle like this? No, no one does. But do you want a sport utility vehicle like this? Once you've driven the Porsche Cayenne Turbo, you're not going to want any other sport utility vehicle. I can guarantee you that.